Last week, Friday, we delivered a letter to the Office of the Prime Minister, and it was accepted at approximately 11.31 by Judith Ann Ali, an aide of the Prime Minister's office. In the letter to the Prime Minister, we gave her approximately seven days to respond and or meet with us to discuss this serious matter that is concerning the majority of the people in Trinidad and Tobago. And this matter really speaks to whether or not the Prime Minister intends to stand true to her oath of office. For the last two weeks, Speak Out TNT has been covering the prison litigation matter. And we've been trying to get the public to understand the real, full truth behind this matter. As you would have heard, we have pointed out that the former Solicitor General wrote a letter directly to the Prime Minister dealing with some concerns that she had been advised was taking place. And in that letter to the Prime Minister, she indicated that she had discovered and was advised of several problematic things that was happening between prisoners and lawyers. Members of the Judiciary, the Prison Officers Association, the Law Association, the Association of Law Officers, and now even the Director of Public Prosecutions have all supported the former Solicitor General's call for full independent investigation into the prison litigation matter concerning the Attorney General's office. To add insult to injury, the Prime Minister suggested in some sort of fanciful response to the public outcry that she would have the Attorney General investigate himself. I'm sure you would accept that this is absolutely untenable. It is an untenable situation. And now that the matter has exploded into something that is even more brazen, if you like, we now have the Director of Public Prosecutions stating that we need to have a criminal investigation into the prison litigation matter arising out of the judgment delivered by Master of the Court, Justice Hawaii. Stand on the right side of history, Madam Prime Minister. Do not be accused of seeking to collude with the Attorney General or his office in breaking the laws you swore to uphold. I'm informing you that as a result of failing to meet and or respond to us in the time frame that we indicated to you in the letter, that we will now begin to initiate the second phase of sustained public action against your administration in defense of our nation's democracy. I'm Pierce Robinson, and this has been a report of Speak Out TNT.